It was payday today for hundreds of former Bahamar employees. Good evening, everyone. I'm Keisha Latterly. Thanks for joining us tonight. Topping the news, hundreds of former Bahamar workers flocked to the Crystal Palace Hotel today for the distribution of those settlement checks. It's been a lengthy process, but those who were sent to the unemployment line seemed happy today to finally get what was due to them. Here's Vaughn Albury. By 7 a.m., more than 100 Bahamar employees had made their way inside the Crystal Palace Resort after winding their way through barricades and police and resort security outside. ZNS News was not allowed inside, but Bahamar's Robert Sands described that process. Once they're vetted on the outside, they are then directed to a number of desks on the inside where they will be ushered to individuals who will distribute uh, their checks. During that process, they will sign for their checks, sign their assignment. By the looks on the faces of those who exited after receiving their checks for work done prior to October 2015, 25-year-old Klebert Bellaby summed up their feelings. It was a smooth process, organized, very organized. Were you pleased? Yeah, I was very pleased. No delays, no hang-ups. Are you pleased with the amount you got? Very blessed. Yeah. Reportedly, some of the payouts were for four figures, but Sands acknowledged that some employees did not agree with their payout figures assessed. Yes, there have been one or two queries uh, by individuals, and we are addressing them as they come up. And, and we expect during the, the three-day process that there will be, uh, but the process is such as that we want all individuals who believe that they have claims to come so that we can address them. Since October, many are still unemployed and express gratitude for the support of families. Others found new jobs, like Benaby, who said he had to keep moving. Over the 10 months they managed because they basically have a week in mind. Yeah, can't sit down at home, just uh, sobbing about it. Gotta get up and go get it. This payout process ends at 7 p.m. on Friday, with many looking to 2017. Lyndon Bastiano, who has been in the industry for 30 years, has experienced the ebbs and flows of the industry. He believes that patience is needed regarding Bahama. They're getting better slowly, but a lot of people can't wait. They think things happen instantly. It doesn't happen instantly. You know what I mean? Bahamas like to rush things. If it comes in slow, it's more better for me. And Sands was asked, what would Bahama's opening mean? I think it would be a new day. Uh, for many Bahamians, uh, the fact that the opportunities of employment will in fact accrue, uh, the economic benefits to the Bahamas will in fact accrue, uh, the added dimension of a tourism destination to the Bahamas uh, becomes a reality, and the Bahamas, I think, will be on its way to economic sustainability and economic growth. And 30-year-old Kel Reno Brown agrees. Next year, I'm looking for the opening, grand opening, we have Mr. 39, Kelrino Brown once again, could just return back to work and give better than best service. And like Kelrino Brown, many of those receiving checks today look forward to 2017 to resume their jobs at the Billion Dollar Cable Beach property. Reporting from Cable Beach, I am Vaughn Albury, S Network News.